Yeah. We're going to be painting today. And uh, we're going to be uh, painting the trim in the kitchen, the hallway, stairs. And we got all the tools we need. You see that the, uh, the paint, bear, ultra, scuff the fence. You have to have the right tools, the brushes. Brushes, cloths, pouring spout. And you see we're using the Scott's blue tape around the, uh, the area where we're gonna trim. And we uh, trimmed here yesterday. You can see this here taped, painted with the brushes, or with the brush. And I really love these uh, sponge brushes. They're very, clean, clean effect. And you can see that. And what's very important here is the uh, lighting. You see, connect the lighting, especially since it's uh, cloudy out today. And we're doing uh, this wall. I'm just gonna show you how to do this wall here. Now we're gonna be doing the door trim, doing the wall trim. All this is gonna get done for you to you know just how Pros do this, okay? Let's have a problem with the video here. Okay, we're starting off with a brush, angled brush, and put a put the good bead on there, and we're just gonna go right on the top here. We wanna get right through the top, okay? See how we're going across here? Nice smooth stroke. And you had to take the time to put that tape on the wall here, right? In every spot there, right? And you see how that's looking there, right? Move this out just a little bit so you get the better view here. And you can see that corner piece there how the uh the paint is not covering it's got worn off we have like uh dogs in the house and they kind of like rub against the molding and of course this is all cleaned off first so like i said we have it taped and we have it taped down the paper is taped down so it doesn't move so we're just going to paint here use the brushes to get into the spots where you need it I'm just gonna use this, cover this up because you can see the metal is uh, being exposed. And uh, so we got a good covering here, right into the corner, cross, same here. Covering the whole area, right across the top. And this is my primer. I'm using this as a primer too down here because it's paint and primer, you know, so. And we've got semi-gloss, 
you can just sand it down a little bit to get that, right? So you can really zoom in there, you can see what I'm doing there, right? Now, what I like is the, uh, like the paint pad because it doesn't leave any streaks when you're painting. And you just put that into the jaw, same thing, dip it. Take the excess paint off, right? And then we just go across from it, right? Just like that. I'm doing a flat area here. Like I said, I did the, this part with the brush, where the curves and everything work. But this area, I'm doing with this, the pad, okay? Put a little more paint in here. I'm going straight across, no streaks. Very clean in there. Going across the whole length of it, right? Just like that. Dip it in a couple of times. And you know, I can do the top too if I want. But like I said, I did it with the, uh, the brush. I want to make sure it's really covered here. And you have that motion, so you're moving it through. Making sure you, you get with the brushes, you gotta be careful here, the sponges they tend to be a little thick, the paint. So you wanna just thin it out or smooth it right across, smooth it right across. And you have to have the good lighting. That's why we have the lighting here so you can really see this, that all the areas are covered here, you know? And uh, you wanna be able to see if the uh, paint is uh, bleeding. And we want it all smoothed out, okay? And you can see that. You've got that whole area here painted all the way up to the corner. And uh, like I said, it's, it, the paper's taped down so it's not moving and it's really in there, clean edged, clean edged and uh, trimmed. You can see that. And this is what we did yesterday. We did this painting over here yesterday, this edge here, this corner. And we're gonna uh, be doing inside the hallway later. That's all been painted. I'm gonna take that in. I'm gonna take down here. Uh, and this was all done yesterday. And you can see the finished work. We're gonna be peeling this uh, tape off. And see, this is very important here. You got the, uh, you got the, uh, the rug here. We have the tape here. We're just taking this tape off, right? Peeling it back. Peeling back the tape. And the tape is coming off. You can see the tape coming off here. Just take your time with it. Do it back. Should be using two hands though. And uh, you want to peel this off, right? Pull the paint off here. Peel that off. Very. You can see that how it's coming off clean. Coming off very clean here. And. Uh, There's really no paint on the rug now, you know? It's just tape. We're gonna pull that tape off later, okay? I'm gonna pull that tape off here, okay? And that tape just comes right off. Your fingers, you can use your fingernails. That's what I'm saying. So we got a, a clean job here, right around the radiators right around the doors, right around the stairs here, the same thing, down the stairs. It's all done, uniform, clean. And uh, we're gonna go into more videos, but uh, I 
we get to a, a specific area, we're gonna go in here. So like I said, you got the right tools. And what we do here is like a little incentive here. You see the bag here? You have the bag. I put the brushes. When I'm done, I rinse them off, right? I put them in the bag. And then I zip lock the bag. And the brushes are just like fresh and new every day. This is the second day on this brush. And the same with the sponge. Second day, just like new. Okay? And that's what you want to do. And uh, just like us, subscribe to us on the uh, video. We want you to paint like a pro. I work with some uh, professionals. Not saying I'm a professional, but you work with the pros, you learn some of the techniques. How to preserve the paint, the brushes, and do a clean job.